Welcome back everybody. Moving on to the next example. Show that the line 2y plus 2x minus 6 equals 0 is tangent to the function f of x equals 4 over x squared minus 2x. So before we proceed, let's show visually what's going on. Now you don't always have to graph whatever you're given, especially a function like this. It's pretty complex. Basically, this is a rational function if you combine it into one fraction and the degree of the numerator will be greater than the degree of the denominator by one. So if you remember, that means that there's going to be like an oblique asymptote. And then there's also a vertical asymptote at this x value of zero. Because notice if we plug in zero for this function, it'll be undefined. So that's how this function looks like. And then if we take that line 2y plus 2x minus 6 equals zero, and we isolate for y to put it into y equals mx plus b form, that's always what you want to do, then we would get this line y equals negative x plus 3. So that would just be this line here at this y-intercept of 3, that's the b value, and then the slope is negative 1, so the line is pointing down. So we have to show that this exact line is the tangent on this function somewhere on the function. So we don't know where it's going to be. So maybe it's going to be around here. That would be close to this same line or maybe around here. We don't know, but we have to show that somewhere on this function at some x value or maybe even multiple x values, this line is going to be tangent on this function. So how do we do that? Well, the first step, let's find the coordinate on this function where the slope of the tangent is going to equal negative 1 because this line here has a slope of negative 1. So we have to find where the slope of the tangent is equal to negative 1 or in other words we have to find where the derivative is equal to negative 1 because the derivative always gives us the slope of the tangent at a specific x value. So at what x value is the slope of the tangent going to equal negative 1? So to find the derivative of this function 4 over x squared minus 2x, I'm first going to rewrite it by taking this x squared in the denominator and then bringing it up to the numerator. So it becomes 4x to the negative 2 minus 2x. So this here is the same as this function here. It's just we brought this x squared up and it became a negative exponent. So now we can just find the derivative by applying the power rule on each of these terms. So the derivative of the function, we bring the negative 2 down. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then we subtract 1 from the exponent, so that would be negative 3. And then the derivative of negative 2x is just negative 2. So we can rewrite this a little nicer. So we'd have negative 8 over x cubed if we're not leaving any negative exponents. So that there, negative 8 over x cubed minus 2 represents the derivative of this function. And now we have to find the x values for where this derivative is equal to negative 1. So if we make the derivative equal to negative 1, we now solve for x and then at that x value the slope of the tangent will be negative 1 on the function. So then when you solve for x, when you bring the negative 2 over, negative 1 plus 2 would give us 1, and then you cross multiply x cubed equals negative 8 at an x value of negative 2. So at that x value of negative 2 on the function, the slope of the tangent there, so if we draw a tangent here, is going to equal negative 1. But we asked for the coordinate. We didn't just ask for the x value, so we know that it's happening at an x value of negative 2, but what is the y value that it's happening at? So to find that, we would just plug in negative 2 into the function. So let's continue that up here. So f of negative 2 equals 4 over negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2. And then uh, four, negative 2 squared is 4, so 4 divided by 4 is 1. Minus 2 times negative 2, that would just give us 1 plus 4, so that would give us 5. So at a coordinate of negative 2 and 5, 
the slope of the tangent on this function is equal to negative 1. However, finding that is just not enough. We have to show that this tangent is going to be this exact line. And then our second and final step is we find the equation of the line with the slope of the tangent. And we know that the slope of the tangent is equal to negative 1 and that coordinate that we found in step one for where the slope of the tangent is equal to negative one at that coordinate of negative two and five. So if we plug this into the y equals mx plus b formula, we got uh, negative x plus b, and then we plug in this coordinate for x and y and solve for b. So if we plug in five for y, and then we plug in negative two for x, Negative one times negative two is just positive two. Bring the two over, five minus two would give us three. So that's our B value. So we know that our final equation is equal to Y equals negative X plus three, which is the exact same line that we had to prove right here. It's basically the two Y plus two X minus six equals zero, rearranged and isolated for Y. So we proved it. So basically this tangent here, I redrew it in blue. The equation of it is y equals negative x plus three. And this line is the exact same as this line here. It's perhaps not the most to scale, but this line here has a slope of negative one and it's going through a y-intercept of three. And then this line here, the slope of, or the tangent uh, on this function at a coordinate negative two and five, it also has a slope of negative one. And if you extend this line, it would go through that y-intercept of three as well. So we proved that that line, this line y equals negative x plus three, is tangent to this function at a specific point, and the point it's tangent on is negative two and five. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.